Hi everyone, I'm Brianna Nicole from Etched Actuarial and today I'm going to be talking about failing actuarial exams. So if you don't know me, you may not know that I actually failed exam P twice before I finally passed it the third time. And it wasn't because I wasn't trying hard or anything, it's really that I just didn't know how to study properly. And what I call this now is the trial and error approach. I didn't really have a process to follow. I, I didn't know anyone that I could ask because I didn't know anyone writing actuarial exams. So all I could really do is kind of guess at how I should study. So I took the approach that I usually used in my university courses and I kind of hoped for the best. But that didn't really end up working very well. So yeah, I ended up failing twice and I finally figured out a strategy that sort of worked for me in exam P. But now that I've passed six actuarial exams, I feel like I have a, a much, much, much better understanding of the strategy and the approach that you should take for these actuarial exams. And that's why now I actually have a study strategy program where I teach these techniques and these concepts and the whole idea of a study strategy to people that are now in the same shoes that I was before writing exam P and FM. So in doing that program, I've, and, and from my own experience, I've found that there are usually three common reasons why someone might fail an actuarial exam. The first is just that you didn't have a good enough understanding of the topics on the exam. And usually this is because you started studying too late. A lot of people don't realize that these exams take months to study for because there's just so much to know and they're really difficult. So you can't start studying three weeks ahead of your exam date and plan to pass for most people. It takes a lot more time than that. So if you didn't study for four, four months, three to four months or more if you didn't have much time, then you may have just not given yourself enough time to completely understand all the topics on the exam. Now the second possible reason that you may have failed your exam is because you didn't do enough practice questions or when you did do them, you weren't doing them in the right way. So in my study strategy program, I have a lot of techniques that I use to help people get through as many practice questions as possible and a lot of techniques that really help enforce the ideas of the the questions and the concepts so that they can apply those same concepts to other questions. It's so important that when you're doing practice questions, you really understand the solutions. And a lot of people just move on from a question if they don't understand the solution. And that's really the wrong approach to take. So if you didn't do many questions, I usually recommend at least 500, but that could be the reason that you failed the exam because you just weren't prepared enough yet. And the last reason that I commonly see people fail is because they don't do any practice exams. So it's really important to actually test yourself before exam day in exam conditions. And that means doing practice questions in that are timed under three hours or, or yeah, three hours for exam P and FM. And that means not using your study materials during that time. And that means using the same calculator that you'll use on exam day. And having no distractions too, which is really hard to find time to do that sometimes, but it's really important to do at least two weeks of practice exams before your final exam. So if you didn't do that, that could also be a reason why you failed. Now, if you want help to pass your exam the next time, I'd love to help you. I've actually helped so many people that have failed twice 
three times. And actually, even recently, I helped someone pass that had failed or had just passed on their fourth time now. So it's putting a study strategy in place can really make all the difference. It's not that you're doing anything wrong per se. It's just that it's impossible to know how to study for these exams properly when you don't have anyone else to talk to and you don't have like a mentor to show you how to go about studying the right way. So that's what I do in my study strategy program. I basically act like a mentor that helps you come up with an exam strategy, helps you keep accountable and on track your study schedule. I answer all your questions and I even have a pass guarantee where I pay your exam registration fee if you don't pass for your next exam. So I hope this helps and I hope that you will pass your exam next time. Bye!